I am recording my microphone. Um, I'm just gonna go test how I sound like. Um, right. I narration style. How would I narrate? How would I voice? How would I sound? I should probably close the door while I test my speaking skills. All right, I am back. Okay, I am in front of my microphone. All right. It actually does a really good job at preventing the popping sound of my microphone. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Let's do a speaking test. Right. Let's see. Uh, let's go with this one. A couple. Okay, so if I were to talk normally, I would say it as a couple hiked along the fjords of Norway. However, the man, however, the man was missing, and only his wife made it back. That's how I would normally sound if I were to talk. I'm gonna just pull out my old script. This one. And then start part two. And then just test the sound. 18th March 2021. J. Stanford Grunwald was shot in the head by an unknown assailant. Chase's little brother, Lucas Donovan, went missing on that same early morning and has not yet been found. Investigators found that Chase and Lucas have stayed in at least 17 hotels in the St. Louis, Missouri area within the first three months of 2021, and a black pickup truck that seems to stalk the two victims. Currently, the driver of the truck and the whereabouts of Lucas is still unknown, but that's not the case this time. Ba 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 ba. That's a very long intro, and I don't think anybody would care. So I would remove that. However, I'll use it as a test to speak. I really don't know what I'm doing, but I'm just kind of trying here. And I'm also really close to the microphone. So, yeah. Um. Uh, ba, 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 ba. How would I sound if I were to talk? I would sound what would be suited. Uh, let's think. Eighteenth <coughs> March, twenty twenty one. Chase Donovan Grunwald was shot in the head. Was shot in the head by an unknown assailant. Chase's little brother, Lucas Donovan, went missing on that same early morning and has not yet been found. Investigators found that Chase and Lucas have stayed in at least 17 motels in the St. Louis, Missouri area within the first three months of 2021 and a black pickup and a black pickup truck that seems to stalk the two victims currently the driver of the truck and the whereabouts of lucas is still unknown but that's not the case this time a backpacker from kansas city found lucas in a mcdonald's located in clinton missouri which was 300 kilometers away from his home in Dalwood, St. Louis. But how was a seven-year-old child able to travel 300 kilometers away from home and survive for eight and a half months in the rural countryside? Local police soon arrived at the McDonald's to see Lucas unharmed and healthy at the table of a white male in his 40s. The man is Lucas's biological father, Darren Kendrick Donovan. After the disappearance of Lucas Donovan, 
He had been living around rural Yolo, Missouri, for eight and a half month, long months, a 20 kilometer distance from the small town of Clinton, where Lucas Donovan was found. Both Lucas and Darren were taken into questioning. Lucas looked down, quiet and anxious, while he was interrogated. Lucas looked down, quiet and anxious, while he was interrogated. It was found it was close to the end of 2020 when his sister started to treat her more nicely than before. It almost felt as if she wanted to protect them from someone else. I should probably stop using it's almost as if because this is like so overused and I really need to like expand the vocabulary a lot more because it's like uh, I still really suck at this thing. But would that narration style be better? It does flow a bit more naturally. And I think maybe that'd be a little better than just my weird slow mo. I probably was like way too slow as talking. I should just talk normally. But yeah, maybe I was just way too slow with my talking. I was I always felt that I've been speaking way too fast. Like I feel like I really need to slow down from like one point two five to a one or maybe one point five to a one. Because I felt like I was just being a little too fast at my speaking. Um but honestly I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just testing my speaking skills because of narration skills I mean because I really suck but that's okay more testing more practice I'm gonna get better later on I'll probably just post this on this um my 4,000 subscriber YouTube channel that I do not care about that's that's why I just crap post everything and I like it that way so if you enjoy what I'm what you're hearing about me contemplating about how bad my video reason video is I don't know maybe you don't even know I have a new channel but that's okay because I don't care about this channel I just do what I want and it's actually pretty fun okay so far do you like it? I got a new microphone so that my voice sounds I mean uh, what is it? Uh, uh, because so I can record better audio because I used to get a really shh crappy mic. Oh yeah, so it's all loud. Okay, I'm sorry. <clears throat> Actually I don't care. I just wanna speak how I want. How is the all crappy? Uh, ah, it's already eight minutes, huh? How far <laughs> It's not. Right. Uh, what time is it? I already know what the time is. I'm just speaking out of my mind. Anyway, I wanna see how how garbage the performance of this video is. Still 14 views, still nothing. Uh huh. Like yeah, every really way. Oh well. Bad is bad. I learned my mistake. And not learned my mistake. I made a mistake. <laughs> And I mustn't take that too hard. I just had to learn uh, what I did wrong here and get better at the uh, uh, the stuff here. Lamel zero second. Nobody even watched it, which is kind of sad. And that's okay. I'll have to learn from the mistake and see how I can further improve this garbage. But that is okay. I'll just leave it as that. Maybe start a new channel and see how that goes. But I don't know. I'll have to see. Okay. More practice narration. And I'll just upload this wherever I want. Right. Uh, let's see. How would I try narrating this one? Uh, so let's go over a very sad and slow version. Like, uh, I'm going to use this. Uh, Maybe this will work. I don't know, maybe this will work. 18th of March 2021. This is not a girl, I'll show the headline on the same one. This is a little problem because all of us are the same way we're only. And I know you've been found. And there's the needles from that chase of love. I'm a little 
I hope you enjoyed that. Actually, I hope you don't enjoy that because nobody's gonna watch this. That's okay. I'm so used to a full four freaking years. Sad me, I'm still bad. Even though I've been trying to learn as much to do YouTube, but looks like I'm just still not bad. Um, probably I'm just following a blind dream, but I mean, this is really the only thing I care about doing. So I'll keep trying and keep learning, even though I've done so much research that I still somehow flopped, but that's okay. I will keep learning and see where my mistakes at. Probably in the thumbnail picture. And that was a very slow pace. It was probably way too slow. It probably should be 10 minutes. It was 16 minutes. That's a 16 frick video but that's okay I'll just keep learning even though it's like impacting my mental health but you know I don't care I'll try not to care about it as much and not let that get in my way of my life I just had to take a turn learn from my analytics learn what I did wrong learn what garbage mistakes I've made I mean like I did like 20 different film <laughs> subtitles maybe I shouldn't do I don't even know I'll just probably just put English subtitles instead of just 20 different auto translators anyway oh uh, yeah if I do remember let me see the impressions for the search rate is significantly higher compared to everything else let's see where is it uh there it is youtube sucks 687 the male 0% i did change my thumbnail though let me see whether my first one the first one was um even worse than that one you know that one's like bad but this one's even bad bad this is bad 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 why did i even make it yeah this is how i feel me with this crappy video series i made Wah, wah. Sad me. I am still very terrible at everything. Terrible. Oh wait, initial thumbnail should be here. Here's ones of my videos and photos. Thumbnails. Uh, there's a new one. Uh, that should be cool about anyway. No Naughty me? No, no, no. Stupid me. Idiotic me. Crappy. I'm just bad at everything. Me. Can't get anything right. Like everything else. Oh boy. How did this video turn into me complaining about my life like usual? Like I do every single day. I don't know. Maybe I'm just always with the risk and hate myself all the time. But that's okay. I uh, just had to learn through everything. Anyways, I'm also playing this back into my ear, so it's like soothing for me to listen to, but also very cringeworthy because I really hate how I sound like. Uh, yeah, but I don't even know how I sound like to you guys. Well, I mean, nobody's gonna watch it, but who cares? Uh, if anybody watches this, uh. Tell me whether the, my voice sounds very strange. I really hate my voice. I feel like it's so nasally and way too high pitched. Even though I kind of wanted to be higher to like be in that androgynous uh, hertz range with the voice, because I definitely don't like my voice this deep. But you know, I just put an experiment in uh, voice surgery. How fun would that be? I don't know. Maybe I could do that if I don't feel comfortable with this voice. Or I just unnaturally hire my voice and have this be my voice. How would this sound like? I really don't know. Gonna close my fringe wall and I suck up. You know, I tried to attempt to do a female voice, but I really don't. Really? Oh, uh, you know what? Let's try play with my octaves and my voice. You know, I'm gonna speak like this. I'm very ex 
eccentric. Oh yeah, but I just so fun. And the voice can also be so bouncy. I'm like a bouncing ball. You know, it's like and a deep, deep, deep. And then it's cool. I'm playing a bouncing ball with my own voice. I feel like nobody hears me talking very intimately to this microphone, not totally weirdly. Anyway, I just... Uh, how's your day been? No, you don't have you, you don't have any opinions about your day because nobody can want to shush. Oh, yeah, that's cool to know. Anyways, uh, let's see. Let me see what the... Audio wavelength, haha, Elgato wave one, blah blah blah. Right, <laughs> <sighs> sad. My mental health sucks, but that's who I am. All right, let's try again. All right, it should be clear of any wetness. Bah, bah. Oh, burpee burp. Ouch. My finger kind of hurt from holding this for a long, for holding this microphone for a long time. So it's kind of heavy. All right. Uh, let's see. So let's experiment. I will. I will talk like this, talking in this sort of monotone, soft, somber kind of feel with this rumbling rrr sound to my own voice very delicate is it delicate? like very non-confrontational very s quiet, conserved asocial maybe? dark you know, so there's like dark feel to it so I'll try talking something like this and see how this um, plays out. 18th March. Um, I'm taking a lot of breaks and that's no good. I can't do that. I had to kind of stay within a sort of semi, uh, how would I say, sort of a semi like line the time like I shouldn't like have such different differencing gaps between my words as much or else people are like boring and that's probably what they feel about my 16 minute video because barely anybody watched it past like a myth for the first minute so like the mail right 18th March 2021 Jace <laughs> Jace Donovan, Jace Donovan Grunwald was shot in the head by an unknown assailant. Jace Donovan, Jace, Jace Donovan Grunwald was shot, was shot in the head by an unknown assailant. Jace's little brother, Lucas Donovan, went missing on that same early morning and has not yet been found. Investigators found that Jace and Lucas have stayed in at least 17 motels in the St. Louis, Missouri area within the first three months of 2021. And a black pickup truck that seems to stalk the, the two victims. Currently, currently the driver of the truck and the whereabouts of Lucas is still unknown, but that's not the case this time. I so I should probably like add more questions, like self-assisting questions, like what happened to this thing, or what does this one, this thing, like how did this occur, or uh, so like some narrator talking question, reaffirming questions of the viewer to probably help the viewer kind of like feel more invested into it, like think about this thing a bit more. Obviously, I haven't really done that with the first video, so there's a lot to improve with my narration and the scripting. I feel like I struggle with that a lot. If, like, I sound stupid, boring, uh, unfun, and then, uh, and then the wording is, like, crappy, long, slow, 
garbage filled, uh, whatever, uh, probably nobody would care. So I'm gonna have to work on that more. And there's more cactus. A backpacker. A backpacker from Kansas City. Kansas City found Lucas in a McDonald's located in Clinton, Missouri, which was 300 kilometers away, which was 300 kilometers away from his home in Dallas, St. Louis. But how was a seven-year-old child able to travel 300 kilometers away from home and survive for eight and a half months in the rural countryside? Actually, that might be a little better. Add a bit more inflection, a bit more octave variation in my own voice, the pitch variation in my own voice. I was probably way too monotone, it didn't sound very natural, I sound very... Maybe I sound way too robotic, that's probably why. It's a slow, robotic, stupid, I just do not know how to speak. I literally do not know how to speak without slurring my words all the freaking time, and that's really annoying. Uh, yeah. So that was fun. Uh, let's see. How about... But, okay, let's continue and practice a bit more. Buff Lucas. <coughs> that's too much pitch variation. And then does that sound smexy and cold and dark enough? Buff Lucas... Both Lucas and Donovan were taken into questioning. Lucas looked down, quiet, and anxious while he was interrogated by the police. It was close to the end of 2020 when his sister started to treat him more nicely than before. It almost felt as if she wanted to pray to him from someone else. I really need- oh god. Reading that the second time, I'm reading- the more I read that, the more I hate it. The more I hate it so much, I really need to like rewrite every single th th thing in the part two because it's really stupid and I hate it so much. I hope this is an error for you guys. Oh, why would anybody care? Nobody watches anything I make, ha ha ha, even though I've been trying for four years. Man is not learning smartly enough not doing the things that are correct i've only been working hard but i haven't been working smart or learning at all even though i've been practicing for one even though i've been learning for one to two months but uh, my mind's going like blah and that's wait let me see and uh this is how i feel that's how i feel fun anyway it's really fun talking like this. Uh, let's see. How about, let's try going a bit higher to a voice where I feel a bit more, how it, how it's a bit more comfortable, maybe. Ba, 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 <laughs> Let's see. I'm gonna attempt to close my pharyngeal wall. This this is to attempt to make my mouth smaller, and this is how my kind of voice sound like. I don't know if this sounds femalely or like girly. Does it feel like girly accent? I don't really know. I'm just trying, and then I'm gonna raise my pitch, and this is how I sound like. I don't know if this sounds like a girl, but I'm just trying. Uh, okay, my man, what's this? Map. Uh, oh, yeah. My friends want me to create a TNT map. I haven't touched it because there's just way too much things for me to do, and there's just way too much for me to handle. Give me slight anxiety attacks. I mean... My god, my mental... <sighs> my mental state has just been tanking since last night, ever since I posted that frickin' video. Oh god, I really need some time away from things. I don't even know if I should really work on the video right now, or start thinking about the second... My... My second video right now. Honestly, I just don't really know what I'm doing. Ah, <sighs> my mind's like... 
<sighs> I just hate everything right now. This just sucks. <sighs> Why is my life like this? I don't know. I just wish it would be easier. But it's not. It's really annoying. I just wanna... I just wish everything could be easier, but it's not silly. I just have to keep trying, keep pushing, and not let that affect me, I guess. Yeah, I know it sounds really emotional or something. I don't even know why I should be talking about this. But I don't care because nobody watches anything I do. And that's okay. I guess I'll keep trying. Eventually I'll make it, right? Eventually. Eventually work harder. Keep learning. Experiment. Uh, honestly, I just feel like the experimentation just makes everything go worse. Uh, to be honest, I feel like I'll just probably die before I even reach like 30 or something. Probably just die in my 20s. And I'm already 18, ha ha ha. Two years until my 20s is probably the time where I die. Uh, life sucks, doesn't it? I know. Can't believe I exist in this world. <sighs> mm. I don't know what I'm doing, but all I know is that I just want to do YouTube. I guess. Hmm. Why, oh why, did I had to be like this? It's been like 10 or more years since it always felt like this, just mentally ruined. Sort of like I'm just going mentally insane, but I'm pretty sure I've just been like this. And it's like in this some purgatory bullcrap life and just robot everything uh, school and education university college uh, eventually I need to find a job to support myself because I'm dropping out and then uh the money the animation illustration as hard as I work on it, it just never seems to even work. Never freaking works. No matter how much I try, always seems like I fail. Every single attempt I make doesn't seem like it ever works out in my favor ever at all. <sighs> but I'm not letting that go. I'm not letting that dream go yet. I'm gonna try till the day I die, or till the day I just eventually kill myself, maybe. Uh, how sad life is. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Life is stupid. Life is annoying. But I just had to eventually power through it. Eventually go through everything. Eventually make it. And just have to keep pushing. Keep pushing. No matter how depressing everything gets. Hmm. Oh, life sucks. <sighs> life sucks. I'm sorry I'm getting depressed here, but that's okay, because that's been happening for like 12 years. Alright, let's see. Mm, where should we continue? Right. 
All right, I'm just gonna close my Discord and forget about that map. I'll probably try to forget about the thing, but at least I don't really want to forget about the video that I posted because there's definitely lots of things I can learn from the mistake I made. Honestly, because uh, I know it just makes me depressed, just make me mentally unstable. Make me hate myself. I mean, I've been hating myself for so long. I don't even know when I started hating myself. I don't know. I just know I just started hating myself like since childhood. <sighs> I don't know what I'm doing. Honestly, I don't even know what I'm doing here. It's been so long. I've just been living this life. I just feel like I'm just an alien from like some kind of other planet that doesn't even belong here. I don't even know if I'm even human. I just feel like I just doesn't even feel human. You know, I just feel like it's a random person. Not as a gompy, just from random human animal thing. I don't even mean, deserve to be a human or deserve to have this life. I don't even know. I just love this life because I just love people force you to love. Like, uh, sometimes I just want to, you know, find an easy way to exit everything or just at least have a reset button. You know how fun it would be like to have like a reset button in life? Like when you just fail at life and then just like become just a um, scum of like the society, just depressive rhythm mental illness ridden person that can't do anything or can't be independent by themselves and just hate everything in life and just can't like just hate everyone or just hate whatever and just, just can't amount to anything and just wish you reset button just that's me reset button all day all night <sighs> if i could reset that'd be fun but honestly, if I were to reset, I probably wouldn't have uh, the. I, I don't even know. It's definitely very strange because depression and the mental illness did really help me with uh, idea creation and my arts work and illustration and animation. However, da da, I tried it for four years and still no success. Ah, <sighs> still no success. Maybe I'm just not meant to do anything. All I'm meant to do is just draw pretty pictures or make things look pretty when they move and, you know, and then just flush it down the toilet because nobody would care. Nobody would watch. People are just like, oh, cool, that's cool. And then you just shove it in the toilet and just poop over on top of it and then flush it down the toilet because that's what happens. That's how it feels. That's how it feels every time. It just it doesn't feel like... Uh, you know how like people when they make when they share content they just post it everywhere on the internet like Facebook, Discord, whatever servers, Twitter, Reddit, wherever they can they just post it everywhere. You know that was like me. Uh, yeah, I was the same thing. But now I just feel like that's really pointless right now because like nobody even cares. Nobody cares what you post there. Like people click it. Oh, okay, I'll oh, just check it out. You know, no biggie. And they just click it five seconds. They're like boring. They don't care. Okay, like most people, like 99% of people who like actually look at the, like actually click on it, don't even watch it, you know. But like even then 99% of the others who like scroll through it, it's just scroll past it. They don't click on it, you know. That's like so pointless to just have that self-promo tag, like self-promo channel on like a Discord server. Because like nobody cares. Nobody cares what's on it. You know, it's so annoying. It's just like... It's so annoying to keep seeing the videos the people just post on it. And I just realized that it just doesn't work. Nobody cares. Just, nobody cares about anything, honestly. <sighs> Why do I even? <sighs> wanna pursue YouTube. I just wanna tell stories and have people enjoy it, but I can't even do that. I can't even make it go boom boom. I can't do that because I am garbage at everything. Ah, uh, how fun. All I can do is just make a one single video pop and then that's it. Mm, mm, nothing else. I just could only make something look decent for someone to just look for once. It's just like, oh, cool. And then not care about it forever. They just look at it once 
and they didn't look at it again. That's the kind of thing happened in every single thing I make. And was well, actually, more like ninety-nine percent people just actually the ninety like that one person that actually click on the video like this. Don't even watch it. Like, see, don't even click on it. Don't even care. Don't even freaking care. It's crap. It's garbage. Nothing works. Anyway, let me just quickly check compared to first 24 hours of video performance. How fun. Oh, that video's not yet. Wait, is the video yet a day? It's probably been 24 hours. Let's see. Advanced mode, 24 hour compared to 24 hours. Video views, let's pull this up all the way from the beginning. Apply. Right, let's see. This video has 14 views. This one has performed the, one of the worst at 10. Oh god, even this is 14. But God for sake, look at that impression number, whoa. Well, that's probably from the description. I did put like a lot of text. I basically summarized the entire video into the um, into the description, which is probably why this has so much impressions. Compared to like the other videos here. Let's see, impressions, but look at that. 0.4%, how garbage is that? Like this is like, Oh, the worst! Like, oh my god, I just can't believe it. I don't believe. No, no, I'm just oh, average person review. Four point five. Nobody cares. Nobody cares about anything. Nobody cares. They only care about popular YouTubers. Like, well, what am I doing with my life? I don't even know. I don't even know what I'm doing with my life. I'm just a pointless, useless, uh, garbage, useless person in this world. Uh, I just, uh, I just feel sad and like a failure. I mean, there's a failure at everything, honestly. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. No one freaking cares. No one 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 ever cares. No one cares. No one cares. No one. No one ever cares. No one cares. No one cares. I don't even know what I'm doing with my own life. easy would it be if I just freaking work out but I'll keep pushing I mean there's a new video that nobody would care on this channel because it's definitely something that's very different from what I used to pose like look at that look at this complete garbage and then there's a video that I worked uh, my Worked with my blood, sweat, tears on, and just worked as long as it just really put all my effort in. And of course, it doesn't work because nobody would even care on my channel. We'll probably just post on a new channel if, like, by the third video, and still, like, well, I get like a one percent average percentage huge. Great. Fun. Looks like I'll just have to delete this channel. Actually, I wouldn't delete it. I'll just put all videos public. Or maybe hide the ones that may, might reveal my personal information. And then just start a new channel called Pasadonia. That was like a... Pasadonia was like another second name that was kind of used for more depressive tragic content. So I might just uh, start that and start a new channel and start from scratch if like... Nobody cares. At least I'll just have a new fresh face and see if the YouTube algorithm will pick it up sometime. Someday. I don't know. Honestly, just... I just give up on everything so quickly. Uh, I mean, YouTube's really the only long-term thing I've been pushing on for so long, so... It's pr at least something that I just want to do. At least something I wish I can 
earn money off. I just wanna. Just wanna. Just wanna sometime. Just really wanna make it become a success in my life. And not fail like everything else. Just keep trying and pushing because. I still don't know how to make anything worth it. Oh, I'm only good at thing. What am I good at? I guess I'm just only... I guess the only remotely useful thing I could ever provide to someone is things that I adamantly hate doing. Probably why. Uh, only my logician side of my secondary personality really shine through with the money because like ah oh, intelligence math computer science those are what makes the quick buck that's what i mean that's what makes the money your creative is just completely useless nobody cares like it, nobody even cares and you even work so hard even though that's like your main personality like nobody even cares no one cares about anything anything but that's just my mental illness talking haha -ha. how fun how fun social anxiety just feel like everybody just hates you for what you do for what you said like whenever that whenever i just said something and then somebody just doesn't reply i just go over full anxiety mode just wondering what did i say wrong should I, how am i supposed to like i don't know just God damn, my brain just freeze up and just go into just panic, but full on panic mode if like something just doesn't respond back. Even if it's like been a few hours, I know like people will take probably usually a day to respond to something, but sometimes when it's like a few hours and then they don't respond and just go into a full panic mode, I just feel like I just like insulted them, like I insulted their family or like insulted their religion or whatever, whatever the heck they are. I feel like peeing. Well, I guess I can pee later. Alright, where was I? 9 or 9 p.m.? This should be half an hour long. Oh, it's already 43 minutes. Wow, it's already been that long. Well, I'm pretty sure nobody cares about this thing. Well, anyways, let's see. <coughs> Actually, speaking about this and microphone, should I do this more? Hmm, maybe I might do this more and see. I don't know. I just, I mean, nobody watches this. I mean, this would be like a very good recollection of history of my mental illness progression. I mean, it's been progressing, pro progressing for like 12 plus years. And I've like been, uh, I haven't really recorded it, but I've had. Uh, enough memories to like write it down like into like a 10,000 word uh, word document that I'm probably just gonna So I feel like this is a good way to like probably look back and see how I turn out and then see like oh wow I was and then actually like Two years later I look back at this and I was just like oh wow I was actually mentally better then yeah, that's pretty crazy, but I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna get mentally worse from here. Honestly, cause like, I just hate everything. I just don't like doing anything else except just YouTube, drawing, and animating the stories I want to tell. But of course, nobody cares. Nobody cares what the frick I'm doing. And that's a problem, cause like, how are you gonna earn money if nobody even cares what you're doing? Like, why would anybody care a turd? That's how, that's like pretty much everything I make. Like people are just like, oh wow, this is so cool. Like, wow, that's so cool. And then it's just like, it's nothing after that. Honestly. Uh, depression, mental illness, have fun. Anyway, what, what should I talk about? Mm, I don't know. Um, I guess this is journal number one. I try journal number one. I tr try practice some my narration skills, narration, narration skills, more like narration skills, 
advanced that twisted into me talking about my mental illness problem, depression, and how much I hate my life and wanting to do YouTube, but nobody cares, you know? Mm -hmm. Nobody cares. Let's see. Um, <coughs> all right. Let's practice. Uh, how loud am I? Uh, I'm actually relatively loud when I take my headphone off, so. Interesting. So maybe people heard that, but anyways, that's fine. Who cares? Let's see. Um, right, let's try changing my voice again. Let's try a feminine voice and see how that goes. Hi. Did you steal my tape measure? Uh, it should be inside the drawer. You fucker. Alright, I'm just gonna test, uh, let's see. Uh, I'm gonna close my furniture or, or like at least shorten it to make to make my mouth smaller so this is how my voice sound like it sounds really weird and then I'm gonna I'm gonna raise my pitch and um this is how I sound like I don't know how this sounds but I sound like I'm like very timid and shy, but I don't know if this sounds like a girl. But it feels like I'm like unintentionally smiling too. And it kind of hurts my. It's like a little stressing the back of my tongue because I'm trying to like shorten my mouth. I mean, not shorten my mouth, more like making my mouth smaller. So I'm really like changing how. Changing how my voice sounds like when it passes through my mouth, but I honestly, uh, I have to put like an accent, don't I? Um, okay. <coughs> I'm gonna try again. Uh, I'm gonna close my fringe. I'm gonna, I'm gonna shut. I'm gonna minimize my fringe wall by pulling my. Like pushing my tongue back up or something like that, and then start raising my voice. Like, and then start raising my voice. So, okay, so this is how. <sighs> so, this is how I sound like, and I'm gonna raise my pitch. Ha 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 ha. Ah, burpee. <coughs> oh, that's bad. Okay. Burpee burp. Uh, I'm gonna talk like this. Gonna talk this high. Uh, let's see. So if I talk this high, I talk like this. I sound so energetic. Sounds so weird. And then we're gonna add in the back. Minimize my fringe wall. Okay. Minimize my fringe wall. And it's really... It really makes my cheek feel weird. And then I raise my voice. And then, um... <coughs> uh, and then this is how I sound like. Um... Does it sound good? I don't... I don't know. I just... I'm just testing some things. Um... Uh, I don't even know if this sounds feminine at all. And... It just feels weird. It just doesn't feel very natural. Like some people can really make it. Some people can really make their voice sound like very female-ish, but I honestly don't know how this sounds. It just sounds really awful to me. Awful. Like, I don't know. I'm just really weird. But I don't really care because nobody cares. I just like do whatever I, whatever the hell I want because my social anxiety just hates just thinks that everybody hates my guts to the deepest point on the level but I already hate myself so much that even if they hate myself like it doesn't it doesn't bother me because I already hate myself already so you, you can't really hate someone if they already hate themselves you know that's that's kind of the mentality I started to develop like a while ago so I stopped really caring about how I acted, how I dressed, and how I sound. But I still hate everything. Everything I do. 
everything about myself. Anyway, cause my friends yell a lot, and then I raise my voice. So, uh, yeah, I feel like I'm very like hollow. My voice sounds really hollow. Hollow. So it just sounds really strange. <laughs> Sorry, I got the sniffles. It's like really annoying uh, to my nose. Yeah, probably a little sick. Who knows? Coronavirus? Oh no, uh, that would be really bad. You know, um, 18th of March, 2021. Jace Donovan Grunwald was shot, was shot in the head by an unknown assailant. Jace's little brother, Lucas Donovan, went missing on that same early morning and has not yet been found. Investigators investigators found that Jace and Lucas have stayed in at least 17 motels in the St. Louis, Missouri area within the first, 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 first three months of 2021 in a black pickup truck that seems to stalk the two victims. Currently, the driver of the truck and the whereabouts of Lucas is still unknown, but that's not the case this time. A backpacker from Kansas City found Lucas in a McDonald's located in Clinton, Missouri, which was 300 kilometers away from his home in Dallas, St. Louis. But how was a seven-year-old child able to travel 300 kilometers away from home and survive for eight and a half months in the rural countryside. Local police soon arrived at the McDonald's to see Lucas unharmed and healthy at the table with the white male in his 40s. Okay, so I can't really close my furniture wall because it's just really strange. <laughs> <clears throat> Close my furniture. No, let's make my furniture wall smaller. I don't know that guy do it. That guy could really pull out a good female voice. He was really good. He was really good at it. But I can't do it because I'm really bad. Uh, oh yeah, I just wanna do, um, actually, let me see. Um, voice hurts test. <coughs> right. Uh, so, um, let's see. Hmm. Uh, okay, so I'm around a shop to the, So if I talk at this high, ah, uh, ah, uh, that's around the, um, that's around like the, uh, what is it? The androgynous range, vo voice range. Um, and then I attempt to close my pharyngeal wall a little bit. And this is how I sound like. Uh, actually, I don't, I don't know. I feel like this might feel a little better. Maybe to myself. I really don't know, but I'll just have to experiment with how my voice sound. And see how things go. Like, ah, uh, oh wait, no, that's not high enough. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, 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 u
gonna go to my falsetto because that's what the voice is really bad up that high. Close my fringe wall. And, um, yeah, I guess this is how I sound like. I'm very whispery. I'm trying to talk as high as I can without going into a falsetto. And, um, yeah. But, uh, uh, okay, uh, falsetto with my normal uh, chest voice so somewhere through I should feel like my mouth is like uh, vibrating maybe so like talking like this but pitch detector use this online tool to easily detect the pitch of any sound or note all right um that was fun that was fun talking it was fun playing around. It was fun just talking about my own depression, mental illness, and just discussing how much I hate my life, you know? How fun. Uh, yeah, I guess maybe this is it. I might, okay, I might run another test with my voice. <coughs> and let's go a little higher and see how that sounds. 18th of March, 2021. Jace Donovan, Jace Donovan Grunwald was shot in the head, shot in the head by an unknown assailant. Jace's little brother, Lucas Donovan, went missing on that same early morning and has not yet been found. Investigators found that Jace and Lucas have stayed in at least 17 motels in the St. Louis, Missouri area within the first three months of 2021 and a black pickup truck that seems to stalk the two victims. Currently, the driver of the truck and the whereabouts of Lucas is still unknown, but that's not the case this time. A backpacker from Kansas City found that Lucas found Lucas in a McDonald's located in Clinton, Missouri, which was 300 kilometers away from his home and download St. Louis. Now I'm gonna apply, uh, I'm gonna make my mouth shrink a little and just push my cheeks a little, maybe. So I sound like, so I sound like this. Uh, 18th, 18th of March, 2021. Jace Donovan Grunwald was shot in the head by an unknown assailant. Jace's little brother, Lucas Donovan, went missing on that same early morning and has not yet been found. Area within the first three months of 2021 and the, and the back pickup truck that seems to stalk the two victims. Currently, the victim the driver of the truck and the whereabouts of Lucas is still unknown, but that's not the case this time. A backpacker from Kansas City found Lucas in a McDonald's located in Clinton, Missouri, which was 300 kilometers away from his home in Dalwood, St. Louis. But how was a seven-year-old child able to travel 300 kilometers away from home and survived for eight and a half months at the, in the rural countryside. Local police soon arrived at the McDonald's to see Lucas, unharmed and healthy, at the table with a white male in his 40s. The man is Lucas's biological father, Darren Kendrick Donovan. After the disappearance of Lucas Donovan, he had been living around rural Yolo, Missouri for eight and a half months long. A 20 kilometer distance from the same from the small town of Clinton, where Lucas and Donovan was found. Both Lucas and Darren were taken into questioning. Lucas looked down, 
quiet and anxious while he was interrogated. It was close to the end of 2020 when his sister Van to treat started to treat him more nicely than before. My voice sounds really raspy and then try to talk higher. Now I try to talk like a female. Um, so this is my attempt. I just can't talk. I just can't reach like a good... Uh... I just can't reach like a good volume for my voice. Uh, height. So... I'm gonna try again, so... This is me trying again. So, um, this is apparently my girl voice. It's not high enough to be like a female voice, but I at least try. It's kind of maybe a little straining to my own voice because it's like using my neck muscles to shrink my neck or shrink my, like minimize my sp the space between my pharyngeal wall. And I'm trying to speak as high as I can. Well, maybe not as high as I can, but like high as I feel comfortable to not reach a falsetto, but maybe I can try falsetto. So if I try a falsetto, this is how I sound like. That doesn't sound very correct. And this sounds really stupid too. So this doesn't sound good at all. And I can't even like make a very girly accent. My voice is just so weird. It's not right. Doesn't feel right. Just feels like some kind of weird rap. Just some this disfigured mouse or something. Like it's just disgusting. Honestly, disgusting. Everything's disgusting. Okay, right. Goodbye. I hate everything. Uh, have fun listening to this. Actually, nobody will have fun listening to this. Like. Nobody will watch this, and even if anybody watches past this, everybody's just gonna be not gonna have fun, you know. That's life, I guess. And just live with it. All right, bye.